What's going on? Welcome back. We're going to do another Ikoria draft, I guess. Oh, wow. That was really fast. Okay, look. I'm at the top, and I'm going to hit ready. And we're going to watch and see if my name shows up in a second place. I'm at the top. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total seats. I'm also right here at fourth. So I am in two places in this draft. I'm in first seat and the fourth seat. So watch out. Watch out. I'm going to take this blood curdle. I think it's the best card in this pack. I don't think it's really that close. Hopefully I'll be passing myself something spicy. That is that is what I want to do. Oh, the Ozolith. That's pretty sweet. It's not that sweet. Capture Sphere. Great Horn. I'm going to take the Great Horn again. <coughs> I feel like I just lean heavily towards black and green. Uh, Great Horn again? Sure. I'll just take all the Great Horns. Well, Jund is not an option, so we can't take... I guess we could just take green. I'm like, oh, we can't play Jund, so... I don't even think this guy's that good. Like, I don't think this guy's any better than a boar, really. I almost want Greathorn number three, to be quite honest. Like, if you Greathorn onto a Greathorn, you just get two lands. Yeah, Greathorn's just OP. Question for Frank or anyone in chat. What's the record for most Whisper Squad drafts in a single draft? I haven't drafted any Whisper Squad. Five Garys? Jesus, that's gross. That's disgusting. Oh, another Micro Great Orb. <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't be getting these this late. Uh, is this just like... Six Squirtle squads? Oh, Squirtle squad. Not... Puppy dog guys, how many Squirtle squads have you drafted? Because that's... <sighs> There's nothing incentivizing me to be blue or white, which would be the two colors that go with black green in this set. So we're just going to keep great horning until they stop giving us great horns, I think. Um, Greater Sandworm is great. There's so many fucking great... Greater Sandworm. Great Horn. Great, 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 great. What a great, 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 great. These, this guy's fine. He's a human, though, so I'm not really thrilled about him. I like a Moss Coat Goriak. I also like Splendor Mare. And... Ah, uh, Keensight Mentors, man. I got excited. I thought this was the, uh... The Tapier guy to kill one of their tapped guys. I'm gonna take the Goriak. Uh, unlikely aid. Eh, I'll just take this guy. There's a four legged animal. Undrum tuna with the bits. It won't let me do just four biddies, but may the fourth biddies. <laughs> may the 400th biddies. I guess gloom pangolin. I guess that's fine. I don't even know. I don't know how pangolins work. You guys ever pangled before? <laughs> You don't know who you're pangolin with. Maybe it's just maybe it's just this stupid egg. Oh, maybe it's egg actually. Because we have four great horns, right? So maybe we just could put an egg. Just get an egg. And it's a mother egg, so like that's just obviously cooler. There's a four-legged animal walking. All right, so now we're kind of priced into. Main Searle, you're fine. God, are we just going to be Abzan again? Not necessarily, right? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Eh. 
Target human, target non-human. This card's actually fine. I'll take this. Oh, little Garrus. Um, Venturous Impulse is actually pretty good. Let's take Adventurous Impulse. I don't. I'm not sold on being white yet. Yeah. Okay. Disgusting. Yeah. I mean, I like one four vigilance much more than three one blank, because these guys are literal. Oh fuck, that's Oasis again. That's funny. Necro Panther again. This is just the same deck. So like, we're just kind of hoping that we don't get the busted uh, companion companion into Zenith Flare deck, right? Like that's just what we're hoping. Oh, can you guys see Low Man down there? <laughs> Oh, he's just, he's having a good little stare. I think it's just Necropanther. I'm taking it. God. All right, I'm going to put this Fight as One back in the deck. I think it's good. Plus one, plus one Indestructible for one man is good. Plus one, plus one Indestructible on two dudes. Even better. I mean, I don't want to keep being... I don't want to keep. Be why can't I? Why can't I put this up there? I don't want to keep being Abzan, but whatever. Oh wow, Quartzwood Crasher. Ugh. It's almost worth trying to be Jund. Ugh. I think it's just pacifism. It's a Goth Mom, but also, I mean, like again, we have four Great Horns. It won't let you do it in Yeah, clear, well, clearly. Like, that's obvious now. I'm just asking why. It's like if I go to try to, un I go to try to open a door and it's locked. And I'm like, how come this door is locked? And you're like, it's locked. And I'm like, oh, it's a good, good. That's a good point. Good point, Shoe Gardener. Because they are dumb. That's fair. See, now you got it. Now that's an answer. It could also be Ram Through. Actually, I kind of like Ram Through here. Crasher is insane. I agree with you. Oh, God, I'm going to take it. What have I done? Also, we have four great horns. Do we just play whatever the fuck we want? I feel like we might. Let's take a Blossoming Sands. I feel like we're just playing whatever we want here. Low man looks like he's filming a scene for a local access video. <laughs> uh, joke's on you. He is. This is like the literal one land we don't want. Maybe not the one land, but it's one of the one of the very few lands we don't want. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take cocoon because I really think that we want to be able to stop giving me blue lands. Dang it. Why is he so loud today? Humble Naturalist also helps us cast Quartz Crasher. One thing it does not do is help us migrator. Migrator. Mig migrate? It doesn't help us migrate. Oh my god. Literally all the lands have been blue lands. It's, un it's unbelievable. Unforgiven with the bits. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. And I dump the unforgiven. I think we're just taking a uh, Savai Crystal. Oh, Pacifism. Never mind. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sometimes there's just so many... I'm not used to the arts, because all the arts are new. Other creatures get plus two, plus one. Eh. Eh. I think... Ah, uh, Fertilid's interesting. We can also mutate onto a Fertilid. Oh, Rugged Highlands? That's got to be the best pick in here, right? Maybe. Yes. If Humble Naturalist was able to mutate, maybe. Skull Prophet. This guy does ramp, but he doesn't mutate, right? Like, it's really, I think it's really relevant to, uh, to notice that, like, the humans, like, you, uh, it's definitely harder than a Moscow Goriak, that's for sure. We don't actually have a ton of black here. What did it take? Oh, goodness. I actually don't know what it took there. That's weird. All right, now we'll take Naturalist. Main Oh, it did take the Skull Prophet. Okay, good. 
Like, our only black cards are Necropanther and Blood Curdle. That's interesting. We could also be Naya, but Naya is also not a... Not a combination. Little man, shut up. God. God. Just being so loud. I don't understand. Thank you. Oh, cool. These are the two crystals that work for us. Thanos with the resub, my dude. Thank you, buddy. Welcome back, bud. By the time lockdown has ended, this will be three years. <laughs> oh, God, it's awkward because it's true. Oh, oh, boy. All right, so I think the two best cards in this pack are blue. I don't even think that's good. Actually, Deadweight's good. Nothing else. is. This pack is pretty bad, though. Yeah, it's just literally dead weight, right? Like, it's the only card that's even reasonable in this pack. Oh, is the Mutaeon Necropanther hybrid? Oh, wow. So the only black card is, like, Blood Curdle? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Kogla and Back for More? Oh, wow. These are both really good. I think it's Kogla. Like, this is just, like, Kogla is just a, a back for more that you don't have to have a creature in the graveyard for, right? Like, it's not even close. But I think this is very good, so I'm just I'm just thinking about it now. Yeah, Kogla seems... Oh, Flame Spill seems great. We're kind of just going, like, Naya here, which is kind of weird. And we're, like, splashing for, like, Blood Curdle. Yeah, we're probably not playing Skull Prophet. Also, we have two Humble Naturalists, which do cast things like Kogla and Quartz Crasher. Let's take Flame... Oh, Blood Curdle number two, though. <sighs> is it going to be easier just to cast for black spell or a red spell? Right, Humble can only tap creature. That's why I said Quartzwood Crasher and Rugged Hile and, and, and Kogla. That's why I'm only mentioning creatures. <clears throat> Plus we have four we have four Migratory Greathorns, so, you know, that's cool. How is Flame still better than Blood Curdle, though? Especially with the Menace. I don't know. I, I don't think, I don't actually think it is. It's an 11 11 for 9. That's a lot of mana. I kind of just like bristling boar here. I also don't hate unbreakable bond. Should we just take this mountain because we're going to be splashing the red? That seems good, right? I think it's Plummet. I don't think Clash of Titans is good. Maybe it's decent, though. I think it's Clash. Is it confirmed moving to Denver? Well, yes. <clears throat> why do you ask and why would it... Yeah, Why? why do you ask? Why do you ask? Tell me about your 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 inquisition. Uh, I think it's just Jungle Hollow here. Cuz we also have dead weight, which I think is good. Oh, Clash is bad, guys. Clash is bad. I think Clash is fine. I mean, at instant speed it's a trick. You can have their two guys fight each other. Like, and then you can block the guy who took less damage. So I, I don't know. I, I really don't think it's that bad. <clears throat> I haven't been there since I was like eight and I still would love to visit. Thomas, you'd be more than welcome to visit when I'm in Denver, buddy. No, it's expensive. Oh, well, then never mind. There's no way expensive cards can be good, guys. It's not. It's against the magic rules. I'm going to take main serval number two, because, again, we have a Necropanther and four Migratory Greathorns, so. Yeah, I'll just take Honey Mammoth. I don't think we're playing that, dude. We already have a Fertilid, right? I don't need two Fertilids. I don't think Fertilid is that good. 
Like I'm, I'm much more, I'm much more concerned with going two drop into into migratory great horn than I am with going fertile aid into add, you know, remove two counters and ramp. This is 30 cards plus 3 lands, so we need like 4 cuts. Blade Banish is nice to have. Put Clash in the... Oh, Divine Arrow is also nice. Okay, so just, just give me more cards. I'm going to take both crystals out. Uh, I'll just take another crystal. So many crystals. Oh, Plummet. Beautiful. Oh my god, this is like Crystal City. <coughs> oh, claim my prize! Whoa! see what we got here uh bristling bar great horn yep 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 so we need three cuts hmm we can take impulse out i think uh two cuts huh This is nice because we do have two two cocoons and two name main serval. So our odds of going one of those guys into Great Horn is pretty good. Yeah, Deadweight actually does look a little weak in this format. I agree with that. I actually don't know if it also gives you vault completion. I know it just I know you obviously get the the gems. I have no idea if it actually gives you close to uh, closer to, to vault completion. Okay, so what is this? Four, five, five white. Mm. Probably want six. Because we just want white early. And it's one of our main colors. <laughs> um, <clears throat> swamp, we can definitely cut a swamp. We have two, we have one black card essentially with, uh, we can actually probably cut two swamps. Because we have a swamp and a jungle hollow plus four great horns, so... Oh man, Endgame is so good. It's so good. Um, red we have four, which is fine because this guy's double red, so we want to be able to hit two two red. Um, green we have four, five, six, seven. I think we want another white. Yeah, white and green are our two highest represented. I think we just want to make sure we hit main serval into into great horn <laughs> and this is yep that's exactly what we're talking about Serval. Is that a manned serval? I'm playing it as a manned. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Over. What land are we getting? Want a swamp? Yeah, let's get a swamp here. What if we great horn again? We just get two red. And then, like, our mana's perfect. We play Rugged Highlands, double, double Migratory Greathorn. Never mind. K. 
cast him as a man. And next turn we're gonna Necro Panther onto this guy and get back. Ya boy. That's just value. Yeah, my biggest love of of Endgame and like Infinity War and all the all the MCU movies is they reward the fans so much. There is so much fan service in the movies, like like you know references, like hidden things. Like me and Katie are actually watching through the MCU again, and um, we just watched Winter Soldier the other day. And when Cap, Falcon, and Black Widow have uh, the Shield dude on, like the, the the Hydra guy on the roof, right? And he's like, Bruce Banner, Stephen Strange. Like, he names all the people, like, who Hydra's going after um, with Project Insight. And it's funny because this is way before, like, Doctor Strange was a character in the MCU, you know? You got it. That's sad. Winter Soldier is literally... It's probably the best MCU movie. It's such an... Like, oh, dude, when Cap at the end, where he's like, I'm not going to fight you. And he's like... And he's just like, because I'm with you till the end of the line. I'm just like, I, oh, dude, my, I'm like, I'm gone. I'm like... Ooh, ooh, I'm like a child. Oh, wow. We should have attacked first. Because if they have like a bounce spell. Oh, they're just going to cycle? Okay. Hmm. One. And. Two. The worst MC movie? No, I, I actually like Iron Man 3. I think Iron Man 3 is actually unappreciated. Or underappreciated, rather. The, the problem with Iron Man 3 is that it's a story about Tony Stark and it's not about Iron Man. And I think that's what people have a problem with. And it's about how he copes with the, the, the post-traumatic stress of, um, you know, Avengers. Of the end of Avengers, where he has to literally fly a nuclear bomb into <laughs> into space. I love, I love Civil War as well. Civil War and, and Winter Soldier are two of my favorites and also it's it's funny because those are the two first I think those are the Russo brothers first two two Marvel movies I think the worst MCU movies it might be it might be Thor the Dark World oh my god this format's so ridiculous I love Thor the Dark World, really. I mean, that's fine. They're all... It's super... The first Hulk isn't part of the MCU. The first Hulk with Eric Bana is not part of the MCU, so that doesn't count. That's like saying Roger Corman's Fantastic Four movie from 1990s. Was Jonah Hex MCU? No, the DC character Jonah Hex was not an MCU movie. Not that one, that's... What are you saying, what are you, what are you saying right now? Sure. Oh, the Edward Norton Hulk? Yeah, it's... I mean... None of the Hulk movies were great. But I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that Iron Man 1 was... Oh, that's nice. Kogla. Oh, 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 oh. Kogla. You got it. Get him. I was so sad that when they replaced Edward Norton with the Ruffalo guy, but then I was so... Yeah, Mark Ruffalo is a great Hulk, dude. He also... You know what I love about a lot of the MCU cast is that they love their roles so much. Oh, my fucking God. This limited format just feels like I'm playing against constructed decks nonstop. Okay, so you got to land a Springjaw Trap, 
a great horn and you drew two. I mean, that's not the worst, but like, it's still pretty obnoxious, right? Like, I don't know. Oh my God, dude. Do you have trample? Dang it, of course you don't have trample. Do you have trample? Nobody has trample. Ugh, good grief. Three, four, you only have five damage here though. So, oh, I guess you can, does this cost four to, to do? What are you doing? Oh God, please stop that. That's so, that's so annoying. Why would you, it's really weird. Sure. Furlid on, Furlid's on deck. Without choosing me? What? <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. Are they going to mill us out? Oh, they're just... Okay, that's nice. The format is definitely too slanted towards bombs. I agree with you as well. As well? I don't think that's how... I don't think that's what I meant to say. Plummet seems good because they got that fat dragon... They got that fat dragon bish. I don't know if it's a dragon. I don't know what it is, actually. It's probably a dragon. They're all dragons, right? It's probably like a dragon hydra chicken or something. Dragon hydra peacock. We also have blade banish, blood curdle. It's kaiju. <laughs> what is that? It's kaiju. Oh, wow. See, look, main serveling the great horn again, my dudes. This is the life we want to live. Actually, it's probably great cocoon, right? It's probably cocoon into into migratory great horn. <coughs> like that's just better. Oh, little cocoon. Because then it's just a four five instead, and it doesn't take up the one four. I don't know. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. Did you guys see the Parks and Rec special? I thought it was wonderful. Made, made me happy. You're just 5,000 candles in the wind. Oh, wow. Look what we're doing, guys. Look at my little egg. Hey, man, don't essence scatter me. Nice. They didn't. Check my egg. Check my egg tech out. Over. Let's get another red so if we ever draw that quartz biscuit, we could just play it. Oh, little fat biscuit. We don't have a. Oh, dang it, Kogla.
I feel like we're way ahead right now, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Imagine how many thousands of NCG people each one of these matches can feed if it actually took place in the low. What does that mean? What are you saying, Hossmania? Just 5,000 candles in the wind. Okay. Get him. Essence no essence scatter. I don't know what they're doing right now. They got spring draw trap, almighty brushwag. Fertilids fine, I guess. I'm not it's not exciting, but I think I guess. I don't know what's happening. All the dead creatures and plants could feed thousands of people. Yeah, that's true. Think about a whole tournament. Think about if a Grand Prix took place within within the lore. And then you're like, oh god. Hello, little biscuit. Mind and body. Oh, Narset! Like Narset! Do you guys have any cool constructed decks that are not like that aren't lame? Just five thousand candles in the wind. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. Um, <laughs> main serval again. Let's do it. We can hit a we can hit a great a great migratory great horn. No, all my decks are lame. Dang it. I was going to email Hunter and ask, did he have a tummy ache after all those treats? No, but Mike did. Mike had a tummy ache after all those wings. Mike was like, dude, I was in the bathroom like eight times between like that night and the next morning. Guys, look, every game, main serval in the Great Horn. We're going to have to get a black source. Death touch. Dang it. Put it over. Oh, uh, no attacks. That's rude. Goriak, more like Boriak. Oh, I like fight as one here. That seems pretty sweet. That seems pretty sweet. That seems pretty sweet. Get on there. Uh, over. What are we getting here? What do we got? We got. Let's get another green because we want to be able to cast Kugla. Kugla. I guess we got humble naturalist for that. Target a human, they're a non-human. Oh, that was great. That's what's known as a twofer. Good gravy. Why would you block there? What? Did you just think it was like plus one, plus one? Did you not know the indestructible part? Because that's wild. 
even mana costs. Otherwise known as even mana costs, as Rob would say. Well, I guess we'll play this jabroni and then just pass. Josh, I'm going to save it just in case. <coughs> just in case it's not as boring as I think it is. Or in case it's not as boring as you... Pass to attackers. Sure, you got it. Hey, sure, you got it. Oh, you didn't want to attack? Okay. Oh, it's another great horn. Hey, great horn over here. Give me all the lands. It doesn't matter. It's the same creature, you see? Let's get another green. Another white. Look at all of our lands. No attacks. What if we get our fourth great horn and we just play it on this guy and then we search out three lands? I was on with the team world's made him an otherwise horrible attack. Andy, I was like, what are you doing right now? What's going on? Yep, you got it. Like, you played the sick, um, six-drop monstrosity, dude. Ghidorah. I think it's Ghidorah. And, um, oh, wow. This guy's just getting in there. Dang it, where's my cocoon? Jay Shellen, yeah, you can push the deck link. Uh, give me my cocoon. Fertilids don't win games. Well, Andy, if you're just giving me the lands, come on, buddy. Thank you. Let's get in there. Standard B, thank you so much for the 13 months, buddy. Really appreciate it. Ah, biscuits. Whatever. I wanted them to double block because I think trading a Savai Sabretooth for a for a Migratory Greathorn is good for them, but they're just like, I'll just block them 3-4. And I was like, okay. Oh, of course it was me. It was so was me so was my joke about you doing it. <laughs> Come on, Kogla. That's not that's not what we're looking for here. No, you stay home. Don't be crazy. Oh yeah, I'll trade it. Oh no, you don't want you don't like that? You don't like that trade? Oh yeah, you do. You, yeah. Do it. Do it. Oh. Yeah. Wild. Just wild. Yeah, that's good. Alright, if we can stop drawing lands, that'd be cool. That's great, because it blocks this guy. And it gains us two life a turn, so... That's pretty good. Is it three life? Do we have another Vigilance creature? Oh, this guy's got Vigilance too! Three life a turn? Four life a turn? Oh my god. Wild. I mean, now we're just breaking even, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. So there are six lands left in our 18 card deck. Seems good. Come 
come on, dude. Seriously? Good lord, man. Five lands and 17 cards. Oh, this guy's going to be a 2-2 flyer for sure. I've never seen anyone give this guy first strike, and rightfully not. See, that's good. That's a card. It doesn't have vigilance. So four or five, they can double block here. No, they can't. Yes, they can. Oh, now they... Can I get a Kogla? Oh, we can't actually kill this with Kogla, unfortunately. Because it's even. But we can kill one of these fat... Oh, we can kill the bird. Even. Oh, gravy. No attacks. Well, actually, Kogla deals with pacifism when it attacks, so that's pretty cool. No block. Go to seven. Go back to eleven. <gasps> the Necro Panther. What do you get back? Literally nothing. Just humble naturals. That's not super exciting. But we can put it on you and make you a four-four, and then block, right? Ooh. Next, no attacks. Come at me, bro. Bring it. So now we just gain four life a turn for the rest of the game until we get our Kogla. <clears throat> oh, another great horn, eh? Well, all right. Thirteen cards left. One, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we have one land left in our deck. I mean, Kogla's gonna be able to bounce. Oh, that's pretty good. Maybe it's not great, actually. We don't have that many tramplers at all. So. I think Kogla's gonna be MVP here, though, right? Like, bouncing humans to give indestructible is where you wanna be. That's what we're talking about. You seven seven? Oh yeah, you're 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 a good man. God, this guy costs five, which is great because it gets past you. <clears throat> Oh, you just block for... I guess... No, actually, we start getting rid of uh, the pacifisms. Just 5,000 candles in the wind. Yeah, that's fine. Like, this guy's never getting through, so... I'm not super concerned with that. This guy doesn't have trample, so that's not a real... <clears throat> uh, done. Done. Turn a human. Yeah, that's how you do it. And we still get four life a turn. Seven cards left in our deck? I think we can win by then. <laughs> I, I think we're okay. We're probably just alpha here. Come at me, bro. I think we did okay. Unfortunately, Plummet doesn't seem great here. Oh, we just win the whole match, I guess. 
It's always weird when that happens. <laughs> I'm like, but why? That's <coughs> how you do, I guess. Kiora! Yeah, he could have just blocked lava. I think they forgot that I had the ability, so they just wanted to kill it. But they did not. Um, Great Horn, Mothra's Cocoon, deal. <clears throat> God. Dude, if you can get the Cocoon into the Great Horn, or like the, the main serval into the Great Horn. Oh, good. Another Umori. Oh, good. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. We can actually go turn one. Oh, we can go turn one Cocoon, turn two Naturalist, turn three Rugged Highlands, Great Horn. Yeah, let's do that. This is a juice hand. Got him. It's a juice hand because it's about to murder the opponent. Is that how juice works? This is a juice hand. You got you heard me. Don't act like you didn't hear me. Over. Let's get we got a rugged highlands. Oh, cause OJ. Oh. It's darker than I was it's darker than I was intending, guys. This was not an Arenthal James reference, guys. This was just It was a reference to <laughs> a long time ago. Mike B said I was juice. And, uh... This guy, huh? Give me a kiss to build a dream on And my imagination That was some nice free damage, my dude. Uh, let's play you, and then put you right on tippity top. Let's get another green because triple green is is where you want to be. You mess with the historic brawl much? I don't mess with any brawl. Oh god, this guy is so good. It doesn't really kill anything but humble naturalist though, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this guy's real good. So these guys trade, right? Hmm. 
That felt like a good turn. You been playing any standard? Not, not really. <laughs> this is fucking Greathorn dot deck, guys. Please don't sleep on Greathorn, guys. It's so good. Do you guys see what's happening right now? Trample. So it's a 3-3. Three, three. It's a 3-3 three, three mole. Okay. And a hunted nightmare. So one of my guys gets menace. Oh, cancel that. That's not what I want to do. Sure, I'll give it to this guy. I mean, both of these have to be blocked, so they're probably going to double block one. Oh, it's Death Touch. Oh, that's even better. Sure. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is this my turn? Oh my god, come on, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. Why is it, why in the graveyard does it not have the fucking, the, the, the alternate art. That's so weird, man. Alright, so they're going to double block, I assume, if they... And then we'll get two lands out. They single block. Single blocking is actually... Uh, not attacking their safe, because if we have any removal spell, then we can kill their, their guy. Oh, you got dead eye. Okay. It's pretty good. Sure. Seems good. You gotta be kidding me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Three lands in our 19 card deck. How did you lose? Well, you see. Cool. Oh my god. Literally searched out about six lands. Still drew lands. Solid. Like, I'm pretty sure the shuffler is actual trash. I'm going to keep this because any land lets us play either one of these two, and we still have a Cycler if we don't hit a land, so. And if we hit green into Greathorn, then we're just living that dream again. Well, we did. That's pretty good.
Am I playing 41? Yes. So, like, realistically, our odds of hitting should be even less, so... Over. It's definitely not the issue. Um, let's get red here. Anyone who thinks there's a noticeable difference between 40 and 41 cards is is literally just parroting pros. Arena hates 41 and 61 card decks, is that true? That's hilarious. That'd be really funny if that was actual true. Yep. Oh boy. Let's play you and you. No attacks. Also, this is good to know that they have like all the all the cards in the deck are creatures, so like they have no tricks. So that's cool. If you could change one movie ending, what would it be? That's interesting. That's a good question and really hard to answer. <sighs> I actually don't know. Two forests in hand. One forest in hand. Five cards to one card. But three other creatures are pretty irrelevant. I guess two of ours are as well. Yep, that's a cool one. Ha <laughs> ha Oh god. <laughs> Fucking amazing, dude. Oh man. Absolutely incredible, dude. That's amazing. Be sure you mutate onto this guy, right? Sure. No blocks. Block by more than one creature. No attacks. All right, well. Pass two attackers. The 
The thing is, like, if they don't have creature, if they don't cast anything on their turn, it's like, it's almost like they have Fires of Invention, like, because they can only cast, they can only have creatures in their deck, so. Sure. If we attack with this, like, I don't think it's great. I guess if they block here, it's nice. They could also double block here, and that seems pretty bad. How many things have trample? Just one, right? Just this guy? Yeah. we get the card that kills this guy? I think there's like four of them in our deck. Well. Cast them. No attacks. Blood Curdle works, Pacifism works, Blade Banish works. Come on. Cast him as a main. Well, now we're gaining three a turn. This is a sweet board stall. We're having a good time. Hey, everybody having a good time. Oh boy, it's all happening. I mean, they have no they have no spells in their deck because they're playing a companion. So there's no real thing they can play here. They could play the octopus, which is a two-two, which doesn't do anything. I guess it kills this in response, but then this guy still kills you. They could play Dead Eye Navigator, whatever that card's called, Dead Eye Assassin, but that's not going to kill either because they're both indestructible this turn. Yeah, so we basically traded fight as one with their their 17, 18 snap decks. I 
I still don't think we have great attacks. Like, Sandworm just gets blocked by 6-6 six, six and, like, 4-5. Then we trade a 6-6 six, six for a Sandworm. This guy gets double blocked here. We trade this guy for these. Yeah, I don't feel like we're in, like, attacking time yet. I think we're waiting for Kogla. I think there's also, like... Having a minute, having like the removal card because all they have to double block these guys is the thing. So if we have a removal, like a blood curdle or something, it's good. Should have just played my forest. Oh, it's fucking incredible, dude. Well, here's a free 7-7 seven, seven and a 6-6. Six, six. What's under the great horn? Uh, uh, Farfinder. Fucking amazing. This is incredible, dude. So your hits off of this have been 7-7, seven, 6-6, seven, six, six, Mythic Rare. Cool. Cool. Super cool. How many cards they have left? 17. Not really close. To our 22. And I... Oh, well, no, maybe not. Yep, just keep on drawing lands. Oh, boy. No attacks. I mean, I'll keep gaining three, you keep dealing three. You know how it goes. Snap Dax to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. I know, little man. Okay. I know. What's better to have? I think it's better to get two lands out than like. Like one land. Brr. But this also gives us a better blocker. So I'll just get the one land, I guess. What up, Mutato? Let's get a swamp, I guess. No attacks. What's even happening right now? Blood curdle. It's gonna pass. Oh, biscuits. Wait, what? Like, you have no creatures to tremble with you activated that anyway? That's weird. I'm not sure I understand. Well, that's pretty decent. Put it on this tiger. Sure. So now we're probably going to kill this thing. <sighs> oh, 
I kind of want to kill this, though. Like, this thing's terrifying, right? But this thing will kill us, so... Oop, there goes gravity. Alright, well this guy's got a clock now. And we're playing this because if they draw another cavern gentleman, I don't want to like discard it, and there's no real reason not to play it. It's still a blocker on this on this board. Oh wow. Wow. Oh no, okay. No alpha. Oh, good game. That's weird. Are we dead? Oh, the mill three. They got six cards left. Could be relevant. Oh, flame spell. Sure. What is this doing? You're just wasting time. I don't understand. Oh, this guy has trample. Okay, that, that makes sense then. I was like, but why? I don't understand. Oh man, we get a game three, boys. Who boy. I wonder if Thwart the enemy is good. Like, they're playing a big fat creature strategy, right? Like, I feel like Thwart could be really good. That's interesting. You think Michael will be in tomorrow? He <laughs> will be in. <laughs> you know, he might be. You know, he might be. I want to bring in Thwart. Like, if we alpha and they just set up blocks poorly, like, they only have creatures. They can't they can't play tricks. Like, they can't respond to our thwart. Koryak and the Great Horn? Every day. I like a crasher here. Sure. Oh, red. Nice. So next turn we can go migratory great horn on this guy, then crasher. Ooh, that seems real good. 
Yep, that guy's very good. Mm. Do I just do that? I feel like I do because it not only reduces the cost of those other creatures, but it doesn't it, it gives him nothing to mutate onto. No blockers. There's a lot of dudes on the board. No. Oh my god. Can you imagine if I just accidentally cast that right there? No attacks. So next time we get flame spell and thwart. Seems good. This game is amazing so far. <laughs> Three, four, five, eleven. <sighs> Fucking amazing, dude. Cool. If I had one more mana, we could kill this, take no damage, still have a Quartz attack for six next turn. One mana was the difference between this game being an utter blowout and absolutely having no chance whatsoever. That's amazing to me. So I lost to a Mythic and a, and a Companion. Seems good. Seems good. Either way, once again, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com, and patreon.com slash franklapore if you want to support the channel for $1 to $2 a month. It's a great way to do it. You can also check down below links and promo codes for all of those things, and you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription at manatraders.com with the link and promo code down below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.